Why wouldn't I? How can you not after we win and you get a hat? <laughs> um, you, what he alluded to the fact that you would, what you've been saying to this team and hitters meetings, you know, in the clubhouse in general about how you want to win and y'all aren't going to accept, you know, a rebuild or any, what, what the expectations are on the outside. Can you elaborate on that a little bit, the, the messages to your team? Yeah, that's a fact. Every time we step on the field, we have a chance to compete and a chance to win. And if we're going to be here, we might as well win. So. You know, there's no reason to see it as a rebuild. We could just see it as, all right, well, some guys are figuring some things out and uh, we're going to fight with the group that we have. So we never need to lose confidence in, in the group that we have here and the group that we have waiting that's going to contribute at some point. And uh, we just got to take that to the yard every day. Nate, I don't know you that well. Are you a vocal guy? Are you, is this, is this your, is this where you, where you feel like you shine? Uh, I mean, I got no problem saying some stuff here and there. I don't want to overstep and say yes, but uh, I'm not quiet. Yeah. It, when you have the results that you've had, does it make it easier? Yeah, definitely. You know, it's it's uh, it's easy to be a cheerleader and be a team guy when things are going good. But, um, you know, being a teammate is, is the ultimate factor either way. You know, whether it's 5 for 5 or 0 for 5, you got to be the same human being and the same teammate to be supportive of the guys around you. Thank you, Nate. You're welcome. Evan. Hi, I'll try not to make a statement this time, actually. How about them dogs? Nice mask. Second, baby. Um, listen, the, uh, your drive, um, this club made a deal for you and sent prospects in the middle of, a, of what they call the rebuilding process. What does your drive do um, kind of like validate that, that, that trade and that belief? Sure. Um, I, I don't really I don't really have a say as far as how you get here, you know, um, but you have to realize where you are and, and where you've been. That's definitely a piece of it. But, um, you know, a couple months ago, my locker was in the back corner of the uh, the closet on the other side of this locker room off the roster. And, and to be able to step onto the field and look up at the booth that I had to watch all the World Series games from and and now be a part of a, of a team that's going to compete. I, I mean, it's just incredible. It's you know, I, I'm so thankful for this opportunity. Um, do you feel like there's anything in particular that is doing well for you, Nate? I mean, we haven't seen you that much, and obviously there's a lot of opposite field stuff here. There, there's been a lot of looking at pitches, but what do you feel like is going really well for you? Uh, I feel like I'm a product of this team being a team. You know, I, I don't get RBIs if Dahl's not in scoring position, if Gallo's not on base, if Kiner's not leading off the game with a with a hit, if if Guzzi doesn't go deep there and provide another run. You know, uh, I'm a I'm definitely a result of the process of this team being a team. Perfect. Thanks, man. No problem. Kennedy. Hey, Nate. Um, I'm curious. Uh, I think you kind of touched on it, but Woody said you said some things at the hitters meeting. Um, I just reminded these guys that this Toronto team is no joke, you know, um, they wound up in the playoffs last year without having a home field and I, I get it. Um, you know, it's a 60 game season. It's a little different, but anytime you can get a group of, you know, guys as young as, I mean, however, Vlad's what, 20 all the way up to Roark's got how many years of experience and guys that have been in the league for a long time. We have to realize that uh, regardless of who we come to who we come to play against, that we have a fighting chance every night. And um, you know, you get a little success right at the beginning, and then uh, ride that out. I, I basically told them at this point we're playing with house money, especially if the odds and and the the certain blogs here and there don't see us having success. We can use that to our advantage. Woody kind of touched on it, but you and Goofy are. are that y'all are really good friends and having that friendly but competitive competition going on, you know, how is how is that vibe between he, you two? And he's so great. Play? I mean, he's been he's been as as great of a teammate as I've been around. I mean, it's it, to have the the character that he has in the in the limited chances that he gets. Um, you know, I, he's been he's been so good of a teammate and obviously a, a a really solid player. And we're looking for more success out of him too, as with everybody else. So. To be able to see him go deep tonight was huge, and, and we're looking forward to more good results out of him. Okay, we'll take one or two more. Alex. Hey, so you hit your first big league homer a couple years ago. So as a team in collaboration, 
you see, how does it feel to see Jonah Hyde go deep for his first big league homer? And uh, I mean, Jonah and I sat next to each other on the airplane flying over to Kansas City, and uh, we were roommates in low A with Tampa and in Bowling Green, Kentucky. And to see his process and see how he's moved from team to team and, and looked for a role and now all of a sudden found a role and had success in it, I, I'm so happy for him as a teammate and obviously as a new father and a husband. Like, it, it's, that's so cool. Appreciate it, Nate. Thank you. No problem. Anything else for Nate before we let him go? Dane is ready. All good? All right. <laughs>